New Aptera Solar EV Shocks the Industry Aptera's EV has been released and now it's creating a new sensation in the market. Its features is now going to be a new market trend. Want to know about this amazing feature? Then follow this video till the end because we're going to tell you what has been included. Before that, please subscribe to our channel, Twas Lex, so you don't miss out on any of our videos. And now, let's dive right into it. Deliveries of its flagship solar electric vehicle bearing the business name to customers are now closer than ever, according to Aptera Motors. The California-based startup unveiled new information about its launch edition solar EV during a webinar presentation. It has a unified configuration with all-wheel drive and 400 miles of range, but Aptera still needs to clear some financial and infrastructure obstacles before it can start distributing these solar EVs to the general public. Aptera Motors has been working tirelessly to fulfill the reservations of its expanding base of devoted customers since it first unveiled its flagship solar EV. Some of these customers were supporters of the firm during its initial attempt to scale solar EVs back in the late 2000s. Aptera has been performing admirably in its second attempt. We have seen the Alpha prototype, saw the Beta annihilate a Tesla and an Audi R8 Spider in a drag competition, and received transparent monthly check-in videos from co-founder Chris Anthony on YouTube just in the last two years. We had the opportunity to observe the Aptera Solar EV up close in September and speak with the development team about their intentions for the Delta design, which is intended for mass production. Before the presentation, Aptera showed video footage of Delta and promised to provide more precise specifications. Recent news concerns the Launch Edition Solar EV, which will start the first of many eagerly awaited client deliveries, provided production begins. The startup's founders estimate a year. Exclusive to the Launch Edition Aptera is rose gold embellishments. There's a lot to be thrilled about with relation to the Launch Edition Solar EV and Aptera vehicles in general, following live webinar from Aptera HQ, led by co-founders Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony. The world of EV startups is an unpredictable one, so it comes with a tint of caution. So let's start by concentrating on the advantages. Aptera has been urged to launch with a single product, sell it like crazy, standardize the supply chain, and then build up from there. Smart. The launch edition is Exhibit A and the reason why everyone came online. Customers will receive the first Aptera Solar EV in this uniform, pre-configured configuration, with current reservation holders that can easily switch to the launch edition now for earlier delivery, more on that in a bit. There will be no adjustments made to the following more important specs which will be included in all launch editions. Notice how Level 3 charging is not mentioned? The founders of Aptera currently think that the Solar EV does not need DC fast charging capabilities because of the extra range it gains from the sun each day. Additionally, having that potential makes the car itself more difficult because a powerful battery pack is needed to manage such high charge rates. Nevertheless, the team stated that they are still looking into the prospect of adding DC rapid charging capabilities in the future. However, don't anticipate seeing it in the Launch Edition Aptera. Initially, Aptera plans to produce 5,000 Launch Edition solar EVs, though the business said it's willing to increase that figure if demand for its initial model is particularly strong. Steve Fambro, the co-founder, spoke at the presentation. Aptera claims that its assembly lines will be operational in nine months, followed by vehicles that are prepared for interior components and solar panels in roughly 12 months. But first, Aptera needs to replenish its finances so it can finally fulfill client demand and deliver. Following the presentation, Aptera's movement and reservation holders list is undoubtedly expanding. However, the creators of Aptera acknowledge that the company needs at least $50 million more in funding this year to even begin producing volume SUVs. The business claims to have raised $85 million to date from over 15,000 investors, including through prior crowdfunding efforts, and justifies this by saying that it has been very nimble with its funds. Having said that, more will be required to have the right equipment in place to make its vehicles in large quantities. The founders of Aptera indicated that in addition to increasing crowdfunding, they are looking into government grants and loans to reach an additional $50 million and beyond. Additionally, they mentioned that people may still invest as pre-IPO investors, whatever that meant. The investor webinar hosted by Aptera the following week should provide more information. According to Aptera, the recently disclosed production intent Delta prototypes will continue this year through crash testing and validation. The Launch Edition Aptera Solar EVs will then make their physical premiere, followed by test drives. Hey, that's all. Comment below and let us know what you think about our video. And if you wish to view more videos, click the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching.